We are discussing objective one atomic structure from HC Verma. Let's start with the first question. The minimum ang uh, orbital angular momentum of an electron in hydrogen atom is. So as we know that angular momentum is given by NH by 2 pi. So for minimum value N should be 1 and it will be H by 2 pi. In the next question there are three photons excited from atomic hydrogen sample are picked up their energies are 12.1 10.2 and 1.9 these photons must come from whether a single atom two atoms or more than two or three atoms either two or three atoms so let's take at the uh, take a look at these values 12.1 uh, ev photon must have come from a transition of n equal to 3 to n equal to 1 10.2 from n equal to 2 to n equal to 1 you must know the values uh, of these difference for first shell the energy is 13.6 uh, from third uh, when it jump to third to one or one to third the exchange of energy is this much and for 1.9 ev it should be uh, from n equal to 3 to n equal to 2 as we know that uh, an electron cannot directly jump from n equal to 1 to 3 and then again come back to 2. So, yes, uh, at least 2 or more than 2 electrons are required for this. So, we can say for these type of transitions, first n equal to 1 to 3 and in the next, if the case is of 2 electrons, then the second electron might have jumped from n equal to 2 or uh, 3 to 2 and then it has jumped from 2 to 1. So we can say there must be at least 2 electrons or 2 atoms and at most 3 because we have 3 photons only. So they must correspond to at most 3 atoms. Okay. In the next question, an electron in a hydrogen atom makes a transition from n equal to 2 to uh, from n equal to 3 in this much time. The order of torque acting on the electron in this period using the relation torque and angular momentum as discussed in chapter of rotational mechanics. The state, uh, the relation is nothing but tau delta t is delta L. So to find torque, we have to find change in angular momentum and divide it by time interval. As we know, change in angular momentum will be h by 2 pi into 3 minus 1, uh, 3 minus 2 as it is moving from 3 to 2 or 2 to 3. So and the time interval is this. So h by this much. Uh, it is approximately 10 to the power 26, which is uh, the closest answer is B. Okay. In which of the following transition will the wavelength be minimum? For minimum wavelength, the energy corresponding to the transition should be maximum. So for 2 to 1, the energy uh, exchange is maximum, which is uh, nearly 10 point something out of these three other transitions. So the minimum wavelength will correspond to n equal to 2 to n equal to 1. In the next question, uh, in which of the following system will the radius of first orbit will be minimum as we know that radius can be uh, expression for radius can be derived for uh, using these two uh, statements angular momentum is nh by 2 pi and the electrostatic force of attraction provides the centripetal acceleration we can get from these two equation that uh, r is proportional to n square by z and in the question uh, n is fixed so the atom which have maximum z will have minimum r so it will be doubly ionized lithium in the next question uh, in which of the following system will the wavelength correspond to n equal to 2 to 1 will be minimum again the energy will be minimum when the uh, the wavelength will be minimum when the energy gap will be maximum and we will know that energy gap is proportional to z square so if you want minimum 
wavelength we should have maximum value of z which is again the option d in the next question in the next question which of the following curve may represent the speed of electron in hydrogen atom as a function of principal quantum number n so the curves are these a b c d let's go to the expression of speed so as we know from these two again from these two expression we can get uh, v is proportional to z by n so v with n have a hyperbolic curve they are inversely proportional so v versus n will be a graph like this and the option c will be the correct one as we move up the higher orbits uh, we have to uh, comment on the electric potential energy of the atom okay so it is asking about the electric potential energy of the atom the expression for potential energy is nothing but k q1 which is uh, charge on the nucleus into e q2 by r as r is increased because we are moving to the higher orbits we can say potential energy tends towards zero from a very high negative value as r is small the potential will be uh, potential energy will be highly negative and as r is increased the expression will tends to zero so if, if a value uh, moves from very high negative value to zero it will obviously is increasing so potential energy will increase in question number nine the energy of an atom in its ground state is this minus 54.4 ev the atom may be as we know the energy is 13.6 minus 13.6 z square by n square so as n is given as 1 if z is put as 2 we can get this value so z is nothing but 2 so the atom is nothing but helium plus atom the radius of shortest orbit in one electron system is 18 picometer means for n equal to 1 radius is 18 picometer in some atom and the atom will be we know that radius uh, of first uh, orbit of hydrogen atom is this so for any other atom having atomic number z we can say that uh, radius is 53 picometer n square by z so as n is given as 1 if we put z equal to 3 we will get the required value which is 18 picometer so z is 3 and the atom will be uh, or the ion will be lithium 2 plus if a hydrogen atom in ground states absorb this much energy 10.2 again this value corresponds to a transition from n equal to 1 to n equal to 2 so how much orbital angular momentum of the electron will be changed or will be increased by so we can say that uh, the transition is taking from n equal to 1 to 3 sorry okay so the transition is taking from uh, n equal to 1 to 3 so change in angular momentum is nothing but h by 2 pi into n1 minus n2 which is 3 minus 1 so h by pi and we find out the uh, value of h by pi using h as 6.67 10 to the power minus 34 uh, we'll get this value in the next question which of the following parameter are same for the hydrogen like atom and ion in the ground state so l is independent of z but all other quantities r v and energy r energy and v are dependent on z so we can say only the orbital angular momentum will be same if uh, atoms have different z okay in the next question uh, in a laser tube all the photons as all the photons are moving in some medium so in a particular medium photons have same speed so they must be moving with same speed but they may have different wavelength or they may move 
in different directions they may have different energies also but obviously they are moving in a particular medium so they must be moving with the same speed so the option d is the only correct option as i have mentioned that all photons irrespective of their wavelength and energies have same uh, speed in a particular medium